Hey guys, how's it going? Sports Game and Fever here, and uh, we got another Justin Samuels Road to Glory uh, video here, and this is his selection day. So um, let's just uh, get right into it. So uh, first school he wanted to go to was Oklahoma State, you know, his hometown, but but they're, they're all only offering a uh, third string, and uh, it's a four prestige school, uh, which doesn't really matter. But uh, they got the Sooners who. Uh, who offered him a scholarship to the second string, and uh, he really was intrigued by that offer. And then there was the Hurricanes of Miami, the ACC, second string as well, five prestige, intriguing, intriguing. Then there's the Aggies, and um, they gave a second string, four prestige. And then there's Utah, who uh, he really liked the offer there. He really wanted to help out a Pac-12 team, and uh, so he's going to sign with the Utah Utes. And um, he's going to take number six. He's going to flip his number nine upside down and go number six. So, um, yeah, and uh, he's going to do a little bit of upgrades. He's, he needs to uh, make the starting role. Uh, he, he, he needs to earn the, uh, the uh, trust, the coaching trust. So uh, he'll do that in practice. He eventually earns himself a shot at the position battle, uh, shot starter. So here's a little, some, uh, some clips of that. And uh, you can see Samuels uh, enjoying his time on the field, really excelling here at the college level. Uh, has his receivers who can actually catch some passes for him, which is nice for a change uh, from those high school receivers. And he found a tight end he really liked. Uh, he got this. He is at this receiver who's able to catch. The, uh, he's a good deep threat. So there he won the position battle, and he'll be your starter as the. Uh, the Utes go on to face BYU, but first, you know, you gotta do some skill upgrades. Gotta get ready, and uh, here's the game against BYU. Uh, maybe not his uh, best first game, but uh, still excited nonetheless. Uh, probably a bit nervous too. Kind of um, didn't really excel under the pressure too uh, too much, but uh, there you go. Here he's coming out for his first snap here at the beginning of the first quarter, and. Uh, Calm, collective, just walking up to the line of scrimmage, hands it off, and uh, that'll go for about a three-yard gain. And uh, here's one of his first pass attempts, is, uh, but uh, it goes for an interception, not a good way to start. But look at this, determined, he's going to run all the way back downfield, and he's just going to level this uh, this cornerback here, and he's going to take him down. But they, uh, BYU getting some points on the board. The defense wasn't really helping out the offense, but there's one of his first completions to number eight there, good receiver, and then uh, he's going to have triangle again here, number eight, uh, probably one of his uh, favorite receivers, uh, Ginn, he's uh, he's the slot receiver there, there's the Miller, the uh, the tight end that he um, he started like, and then uh, he's going to hurry it up, with the offense, uh, taking control, and then he's going <clears> to <throat> fire one to his running back there, that's a gain above uh, oh, actually, it wasn't a gain. It was a minus gain of uh, one. And then he's going to throw it. And, oh, he kind of lobbed it up there. Probably should have thrown a bullet pass. But, uh, unfortunately, he gets intercepted for a second interception of the game. And there he can't get it off the line. Uh, the offensive line just lets the guys through. He can't get the throw off. Here he gets a throw off. And somehow that was a that was a great uh, interception by number 18 who... Uh, who uh, gave him some troubles knocking down passes and interception there. And then Samuels, uh, seeing that the throwing isn't really working, he try decides to rush it for about nine yards. There's a pass for about nine yards here. Now we got fourth and one. And what can he do? He gets the first down and passes it to Ginn, that slot receiver, really helping him out there. And then um, they're going a screen pass. He's going to try to go deep. He had a guy uh, in single coverage. Uh, Breaking away from the coverage, but it didn't really work out. Here he gets another throw off, and this one's deep, late in the fourth quarter. Just trying to boost his stats, because it looks like we're going to lose this one, 31 to 7. And oh, look at this, 10 seconds left, gets a nice first down. Gets a, down to about the 15. Here we go, hiring it up, he can get a pass off. And coach calls a timeout. And look at this, they're going to try to do an HB off tackle, just a draw, and they'll end up... Uh, not being able to score, and uh, part of the uh, game reason for the loss was Samuels. Uh, as you can see, 31-7 your final score. Uh, he's obviously uh, frustrated uh, from what 
that he had to offer. He didn't really have a lot actually to offer. But um, some there some coaching mistakes and uh and the calling of uh plays and then there was the intercept interceptions by Samuels and then the defense didn't really help out the offense too much. But um, nonetheless, he gets some XP earned and um. He had uh, 137 yards, but that's not really what he wants. But you can see next week he'll have a chance to uh, get ready with a bye. And uh, stay tuned for that. See ya.